I can bet that nobody has taught you in the way I am going to. So put your glasses on and watch this video completely. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. I get a lot of DMs, a lot of comments that their concealer always, 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 always creases. And uh, a couple of times when I took classes, I know the mistakes people do in the way they set their concealer. That's the reason, you know, their concealer actually creases. So I know the mistakes people make. So I thought, why not make a video about it? Because concealer creasing is a real problem. So I'm here to help you guys. Now, I might be putting myself at risk, like not really at risk, risk uh, but in a position that I'm wrong but I did a little research uh, before doing this video I did watch like so many videos to see actually if people spoke about you know the correct way of setting your concealer so that it doesn't crease so that if like if there are so many videos like that then there's no point of me making it uh, but but when I watched all those videos like literally nobody explains it properly I mean everybody uh, gives a gist of what I am going to say but people don't point out the mistakes you can do while uh, you know setting your concealer because when you know the mistakes is actually you'll when you know what is right and what is wrong so yeah i'm going to zoom you guys in properly you're going to see where the concealer creases how i'm going to set it and if you like the video then make sure you share and like and comment i always forget to say this uh, i'm actually supposed to say this in the starting because in the ending i think nobody watches this so but yeah uh let's get into the video So I just have my foundation on because there's nothing related to foundation in this video. So in my previous video, basically I just popped the video here. I did go in with a little more conceal out. Like I just got carried away while talking to the camera. I did add a lot. So I just thought I'll show you how I actually use the amount of concealer I use as well. And uh, that's like the ideal amount to use. It's like kind of the right way to do it. And that's what works for me as well. So first what I do is I go with a concealer which matches at least close to my skin tone. So I'm going with the LA Girl Medium beige concealer so i'm just going to concentrate it on the inner corner right near this place where that because that's where the under eye bags are and right here same thing on the other side if you need more you can add later but for starters go with less now i'm just taking a damp sponge plum co sponge so i slowly start blending it out now concentrate the product right where you placed it first and then you can blend the rest of the concealer out so i'm just taking the sponge and i'm concentrating and dabbing the product in that place for almost two to three seconds i concentrate and dab it right there i don't want to lose the coverage you can see so dabbing it right there and that's it it keeps blending on its own you don't have to like drag the product around so much so same goes for the other part this video is not for how hairy akansha is because i do have a lot of facial hair so ignore that hair so we do have a very nice thin layer of product which looks really beautiful uh, now you can completely stop at this but i do like to uh, brighten my under eyes a lot more so i'm going to take this uh, maybelline superstay sorry maybelline instant age rewind in the shade uh, medium so i'm just going to pop it right here in here last time i did apply a lot of product tiny dot in the middle too just i mean why not so uh, i'm just taking the same sponge and i'm dabbing it again on the area where i need that coverage and that brightening effect and then i'm going to move along So now the concealer is completely blended but before uh, starting like you know the process of how to set in and everything first I think let me just zoom you out one minute. So first before going into creasing and how to set it I think a lot of people don't understand creasing uh, they just do see fine lines and they think that it is actually like creasing. So I just pop on a picture right here like I did a makeup on this girl Kriti she's like really beautiful. I did this makeup she did have a little you know intense dark circles I did add a lot of concealer and I did 
didn't edit this picture at all just added like removed little bumps here and there but then the skin is untouched no filter whatsoever so this is her skin and you can uh, see that under her eyes there are a lot of fine lines so there is no problem in having fine lines everybody have fine lines and when you add makeup and you set it the fine lines are enhanced a little more so this is not creasing you guys and uh, i did get comments under the picture as well that you know why does she have so many fine lines i mean guys we are all humans all of us have fine lines there's nothing wrong in it and but that is not called creasing those are just your fine lines which you have under the eyes irrespective of you have makeup or not but when you do wear makeup they they, they you know do get enhanced a little more but what creasing actually is so you can see that you know concealer is gathering around these lines because i do have very fine lines there and you can see in between that lines let me zoom you more now in between those lines you can see that there's some concealer which has collected and this doesn't look appealing you can see there's little collection here little collection here little here because those are all fine li fine lines that the concealer did go inside and settle there because we you know didn't do anything to kind of uh, set it so that you know what you actually see is called creasing and that is what you want to avoid in your makeup the way you avoid creasing is using a powder but creasing like you know depends a lot on your skin type as well skin type as in like the age of your skin now uh i mean i'm 23 so i don't have like extreme bad lines like i do have two lines here and there but if you're more mature like if you're 30 plus 40 plus it depends on your age so you, you will have more more and more fine lines so the more and more wrinkles or fine lines you have the lesser product is better but i'm going to show you how you can set it even if you have that you know for how much ever lines you have so um ideally what happens is now i am just going to blend this out so i'm just making sure there are no creases before setting in with the powder because this doesn't make the any sense to set it with the creases so on the left side i'm going to show you how traditionally people show you to set your concealer so they're just going to take a loose powder and uh, the concealer is there so they're going to go in with the sponge and ideally they're just going to you know set the concealer this way and that's how they tell the creasing is going to stop now i'm going to leave it there but i'm going to show you how ideally you're supposed to do it on the right side so now like you saw that there is creasing inside the lines you guys so the main 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 motto is to get that powder inside the line so when you're going to set your concealer when like you're just looking straight and you're setting your concealer the lines are folded and the powder and the product inside the lines is not getting set whatsoever so what you need to always always make sure is that you go into the lines and what you're supposed to do is just supposed to stretch that complete skin out so now my skin has fine lines like right here you can see that i have two prominent lines here so this is where like the major or the majority of the creasing can happen for me so if i open it here like so when i'm when i'm setting my concealer my skin is supposed to be like this because i need to get into that product so what i do is i make a very weird face like i stretch my face completely and i look up so the entire like you know part is completely stretched out and i don't have any fine lines there after that i take the powder and once like you know all that creasing is not there and the entire you know skin is stretched out that's when i set with the powder so you can see no creasing whatsoever and push it inside supposed to get into that line like make your skin as flat as you can and then get into that line and set it properly everybody usually makes this face they do stretch their skin down but nobody really explains why they do that i mean it comes very involuntarily when you are setting your uh, you know makeup or under eyes but nobody explains it nobody points it out that that is because to make your skin uh lay down flat and then you set it and release it that's when your concealer won't crease so ideally nobody mentions that i don't know maybe it just slips out of the mind but that is really really important you need to completely stretch your skin out before you know you go and set your concealer that's it now when you stretch it you cannot see the fine line or where the creasing is or anything of that sort but let me show you this side if i open up this side you can see a little bit of creasing and if you have a lot of lines then you can see a lot of creasing on this side you can see that if i open it right here 
so you can see that you know my concealer is creasing right here a little on the edges right here as well i did set this side also very properly but i didn't stretch it out as much as this side so you can see there is a little concealer creasing happening right here compared to this side if i open this side you can literally see nothing like no creasing at all versus this side there's a little bit of creasing but if you do end up you know doing the left type of mistake sometimes there's no issue just take a brush and now you after even after you said you can still uh little get away with it because it's quite kind of little minor it doesn't do so much so open your eye and go with the brush and try to you know get uh what do you say blend away that creasing with the powder so this is just going to go into that line and set away that concealer so there is no creasing again you're just going to try get into that lines and blend it and make it crease less so i'm just setting everywhere else now smile lines is something i never experienced so i really can't explain uh, how to do it and it's like it is something which you cannot like you know it's one one concealer point which always tends to crease a lot of people are uh, tell to apply primer there and then do it now before going in with concealer and powder i didn't show it to you in this video but you can click in this video i do like you know prep my under eye area really well so you can add a ton of moisturizer a ton of ice cream not ice cream eye cream so that you know, your eye area doesn't get dry and flaky while you have that makeup on because you do add a concealer then a powder which usually tends to make your you know skin a little dehydrated so you need to really 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 make sure your under eyes are extremely hydrated before going in with makeup to avoid all that dryness or the flakiness which happens because of the concealer so i'm just going to finish the rest of the makeup and i'll be right back so i just wanted to show you guys one more thing which does help under eye creasing as well so i did tell you guys that i do take a little bit of bronzer and i go under the lower lash line so basically i go very close to the lower lash line and that's where usually like really really fine lines are so it does help increasing as well so uh this is like a very tiny brush i go around that area so if you have extremely fine lines you what you can do is you can just avoid that area right like just below the lash line you can avoid or maybe apply really less and you can go in with the bronzer some color shadow you want and you can apply it so that you don't have like a lot of creasing so before going in with this uh, bronzer i'll just show you this side compared to this side though i tried to fix this side this side is a little you know worse still than this side you know if i move close you can see that there is a little bit of creasing going on right here and there's a little creasing like you know this even after i tried to fix the situation this is what is going on so um uh, this side and you can see on versus this side this is quite neat like nothing is like creasing a lot everything is very properly set there's nothing you know no issue happening on this side and creasing is something which does differ in like a lot of people you guys so if uh, people have under eye fillers they don't have so many fine lines because the filler kind of fills off those lines and kind of makes it more flat so they don't have so many lines so a little powder maybe like the way applied on this side kind of can remove off the creasing easily and sometimes people don't just have fine lines a lot of people don't have fine lines or anything so the concealer doesn't crease but i do have fine lines and this is the way i do it now creasing on some people uh, shows very prominently like for me if i like you know make any stretch on the face something like that that's when you can properly see creasing but few people who have like that more rounded edge and the lines are like very visible without them you know stretching their skin only they can see so just you know the best way you can set it is to get into the line like make your skin a little flat and then properly properly get into that lines and uh, set your face so those were my few tips to stop your concealer from creasing so i hope this video was useful comment below and tell me if anybody has taught you how to set the concealer the way i showed you it's not like i'm boasting or anything i like i know 10% of what makeup is or maybe even 5 but i did watch videos and nobody has explained it like the way actually i set my concealer so So I just thought it would be helpful for people. That's the reason I did the video. And yeah, if you find it useful and if you like my video, then make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It means the absolute world to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye. And and yeah, my Instagram is Akanksha Khomirilli. I always have it in the description, and I always have it in the screen as well. I don't know why people are not finding it, but yeah, it's a, it it is at Akanksha Khomirilli. You can definitely follow me there. It's a fun time, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.